Hail Reckoners, today I am playing in the court of the Yellow King, truly the color of superior kings. So these are a little hard to read. This is arrow keys or d-pad to chain, charge into the void, which is very flavorful. We've got a, a X to unleash fire, which is our bullets, I'm not going to do that. Z to reveal the blade, I really like the stylized depiction. Space to ascend. Um, for some reason, I really prefer up to be ascend and not space. That really throws me off. So this game, uh, if you hadn't guessed, is a very gory uh, Metroidvania-esque game. Uh, so it's kind of like Indiana Jones with a touch more Cthulhu, I guess. That's a decent description. Uh, it's very attrition heavy. So um, on the top, you can see I have five tree branches or something. Ow. That's my HP. It does not get restored in any way, um, except when I get to the final- I've never seen that happen before. Uh, when I get to the final boss. There are a few enemy types. I wouldn't mind more. Gosh dang it, Birdman. He didn't hit me somehow. That's awesome. You got these big guys who take a lot of hits, but you stun lock them. The goal of the game is below my HP, you may have noticed, uh, there's some black silhouette type things. Those are items I'm collecting. Come with me and be immortal. I haven't, been, I haven't been reading this text, this is kind of mad writing. Come with me, be immortal, blah blah blah. I'm not sure what the story is, I'm not, I, uh, I kind of perceive it to be me as like a archaeologist type guy, exploring ruined castle thing. Maybe I know about the bad beforehand, I don't really know. Uh, so, come with me to be immortal, yeah, 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 come with me to be immortal, I get it. Open them up, and you will face the sea of darkness. Open what up exactly? I don't know. You possess the sign squeezed between, squeezed beneath fragments of time. You possess. What do I possess? A cunning wit? I know, you don't need to tell me. Ha oh, ha. Oh yeah, oh he hit me. This is bad. This is bad news bears. This game has a similar uh, downside? I'm not sure what the word I'm looking for is. Holy crap, get out of there. Don't take damage. Um, in that, I only really take damage during my descending animation. Uh, I can't get that. I can, I can do the rising slash. The falling slash isn't really a thing, sadly. So it's my weak zone. The AI is a little weird here, because a couple times guys won't turn around when they clearly should. How about you don't just glitch into people? We've got one HP. You have to restart all the way over if you t if I die. Don't know why he blew up so fantastically. This is super harrowing, having the one HP. I don't like it. Gun bullets don't pierce, which is why I'm not just letting him fly with them, because... They're not super helpful. There's not like any enemy that the gun is better against. I could be jumping around up there, however that's a bad idea, because as I just mentioned, I'm bad at the falling attack. So uh, once I'm up here, I can't really fall down there easily because it's full of those bad guys I just beat my way through. We opened them up, something about darkness, blah blah blah, yes, we've sacrificed blood. We've got the book, the key, the I was looking at my items. Okay, fade cut to me back to here. Okay, so we got the skull. As I was saying, we have the book, the key, the staff, the scroll, and the skull. And we avoid that guy. Gosh dang it, I almost hit him again. And we return to the very beginning, I think it is. And we can summon El Bosho. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, yeah, who is the king of yellow? 
Gosh dang it. Vertical zones. The jumping in this game is a little interesting. Or the, the, the spacing. Given your jump height, the spacing of the platforms is a little interesting. Take that. And that. I don't think this guy has anything of value. How about we don't die to the simple friggin' no-name goof? Yeah. This is already zone. I don't know why that zone's even there. Run, run into the void. Charge into the void. That's what it is. Gosh dang it. Forgot about this. Lasers! That caught me slightly by surprise. I couldn't remember quite when or how it manifested with the big cheesy laser. Take this! And that! And oh god, laser! Well, I hit him a couple times. I'm gonna have an interesting time messing with those levels. So he just teleports between these three levels. Summoning bad guys, dropping lasers. I like, I really, really like how many hits uh, the staff has. Also, in case you hadn't noticed, I'm at full health. I don't know if it restores bullets because I don't use bullets. But yeah, look at that. Look at those awesome hitboxes. And then I die. For the greater good. This is another game in which we die at the end. How fantastic. Was it worth it? I guess so. Um, squeezed by time. One thing that's interesting. Uh, so that's the second time I, I finished the game. The first time... I was expecting him to react to my hits a little more than he did, uh, which means I was doing, in that, in that, what you just saw, I, he only teleported once, he te I hit him in the beginning, starting the fight, he teleported once, I fought him, he teleported once, and I beat him. The first fight, I was hitting him a little less, oh, uh, capture just ended, um, I was hitting him a little less, so, it turns out he actually has stages, and so when you get him low enough, he just starts spawning like like three demons, a caster, and two of those big guys. It, it can be a little difficult to just whack your way through all that meat to get to him, but it's still a pretty pretty straightforward boss. He's a lot more straightforward than uh, the rest of the game is because there's less jumping stuff. So everything everything fights on the same level, so it's pretty easy to just flail away with your staff and, you know, Victory will be yours. So that was In the Court of the Yellow King. Um, again, I think that was just a game jam game, not a demo or beta version of a fuller game, but it has a good concept, um, has a nice atmosphere and good story, so play it for yourself in the link below, and thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>